Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you top 20 things to do in your survival world. Sometimes you just don't really think what you can do. So here's a list that may help you. We've got a storage room. Basically you always need this. You've got to keep yourself, you know, in check. We've got the nether stuff, spare tools, food, rest of stuff, coal, ores and ingots, random stuff and end stuff. You put it all into a pile, you've got to make one of these. So yeah, let's go over here. After that you'll want to make a potion room, which is really handy. If you do something like this, if you get a hopper and a chest, you can pre-fill water bottles and keep them in there and then it'll constantly fill up. Look, if you do that, you can keep taking them out and it'll constantly fill it. And then you can chuck your empty glass bottles in there. And then all your potion ingredients, redstone, all that kind of stuff, nether wart, gunpowder, chuck all that in there. So yeah, that's the second one of the top 20. So after that, for top 3, you'll definitely want to make a nether wart farm, which can work in conjunction with the potion room. All you need to do is pick a little room and then add the nether watch you need soul sand which you get from the nether, most people know that, so that's one thing you want to be making. So for the fourth thing we have is a sheep farm, and not just any sheep farm, make sure you've got all the colours, every single colour. There's uh, 16 colours, I'll put it on the screen if I have a screenshot with it. And there's, lo there's loads of different colours, loads of different variations and shades. And then you can make pixel art and stuff like that, so it's really cool for that. So this is one project you can make which leads into another project, so you can make like pixel art stuff. I've actually got some more later in the video, you'll be able to see it. See, so yeah, that's number four. For number five, I'm going to take my pick, okay? Because we've got multiple things in here, but I'm going to pick this one, right? So for number five, we've got a personal fish farm. You can make it and decorate it to yourself, and then you can add up here. You can show what kind of stuff you can get. This is the kind of stuff you can get for fishing. Enchanted books, name tag, nautilus shell, saddle, chop wire hook, ink sack, and then obviously you get fish too. So you can make your own personal one that can go inside your base. You just make a circle, just like this, and then you just fill it with water, it's really simple. And it looks really nice, especially when you light it up with the glowstone and add some coral. I don't actually know how you get coral, I think you can just like shear it with shears. But yeah, that's the top five, and then we'll do some more. So for number six we have the community server. If you make enough beds for everyone on your server, everyone can sleep every night without having to say, oh, I don't have a bed. Stuff like that, everyone can come here. You can have places for your cats too. And speaking of cats, we should actually move on to number seven. We have a very cool place. It is literally a cat sanctuary. Like, of course you need this in your Minecraft world. You have loads of cats, you know. Those little, like, uh, playpens, what we call them. Uh, scratchable stuff. They're all just chilling here. Plaything over there. We've got food. We've got a massive sofa. We've got some shelves. Like, could you ask for anything better? If they want a bath, I've got them. Also, I find if you feed a cat enough, it may mega evolve into something really cool. It's quite a rare thing, it's like a 0.5% chance we'll see that actually happen. So it's been about 10 days of feeding and it's finally mega evolved into a fully grown cat. There we go, very cool. So that's it for the cat sanctuary. For number 7 we have something in here. It is the bee farm. Everyone knows you need to make this, but some people forget, you know. You can make a nice little bee farm. Decorated with flowers and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, we've got all the cats here. They actually weren't supposed to follow me, but it doesn't matter. So, moving on to the next one, we have an archery room just for target practice. You can make targets with the banners and you can just test how good your aim is, which means it's clearly not too bad. It's kind of trash though. And you can also try it on actual human dummies. I didn't actually know they break, which is kind of cool. That really, I mean, there's only one time you should have to like pop them back up, but I've never actually tested that. That's pretty cool. So you can shoot down that, makes a nice little mess, and you can test if you can hit the bullseyes, which I got once out of four times, which is not too bad. So for the next one, we have an enchantment room. Obviously, everyone has this, but you actually want to make a room, make it look nice. Chuck your lapis in one chest, chuck your books in one chest. Now, it's a really good tip that I only learned recently. If you make a grindstone, you can actually rip off enchantments. As you can see, I've got no levels right now. If I chuck this in at efficiency 5, rip the enchantment off, I get 3 levels for free. And to take us halfway there, we have number 10, which is a campsite. Now, I'm not going to lie, this doesn't look the best, but you'll get the rough general idea of what I mean. You can make a campfire, as you can see. You can cover it in rocks, because obviously you don't want the grass to burn. And then the buttons kind of look like rocks too, and little pebbles. Now you can just get some logs where you can sit and chill. You can also make like the logs like go in all directions. So you can have four people sitting here. That looks quite nice. So guys, we're halfway there and we've got a lot more to show. So number 11 we have 
a villager post. So we've got a little market stand like this, and you can put all your villagers in here. Make sure they've got a bed and a workstation. The best kind of ones you want to have is a cleric and a librarian. Cleric sells ender pearls, which is good. And let's move on to the next thing. We can just make a decoration. So if we go up here, we have a truck. It's a massive truck. And if you use logs and rails, it looks like they've been tied down. Which looks a nice little detail. And it was the main reason why I made the actual truck. Because I was just going to make the logs strapped down. But I thought, I want to make a truck. And as you can see, it looks quite nice. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's only so much you can do in Minecraft. And for the next thing, we have controlled tree growth, which is really important. It's not really important, but like it's good to have. If you place a half slab or like any block above it, I think it goes six blocks high. I think three. So yeah, on the sixth block, if you put it on there, that means you'll never get the big ugly trees that take so long to like mine down. So if you do that, they'll always grow the same size roughly. Sometimes they can grow a little bit small like that, but it just means you can easily mine them without any problems. So you don't have to climb up anything. For the next one, we have, which is over here, a fox farm. Let's grab some berries. They're quite, a, they're, they're cute, but they're a pain to like, breed and all that kind of stuff. Once you get them in here, you have to lead them in with an actual lead. So yeah, the reason why we've got wood under here is because if you use grass, you accidentally tend to place the berries. They're really hard to breed, these things. The one bad thing about these is they're really hard to breed. But once you do, they produce a baby fox. They're very nice. And it's just one of those, they're not really that important, these kind of farms, but they're really cool to have, but a pain to maintain. So the next survival idea is something I really like. Obviously, you'll have to make a beacon, which looks really nice. So you make the beacon, and obviously, if you've got a server where more people come in, like more noobs and stuff like that, they're going to be like, oh, hey, look at all this iron. Let me just pick away at it. And obviously, you get griefers and stuff like that. So the best thing you want to do is decorate it in obsidian. Which protects it and makes it look cool, because it looks like it's it looks like it's something that just came from like another world. Looks really looks really weird, and it looks it looks good though. And you've got the lava for protection, and no one can get into the hole. If you if you have diamond pick, you can get into it, but if you're new, you won't have a diamond pick, and everything will be safe. And then if you need to access it, you just have to jump up here, and then do some parkour, and then just change it like that. So we have a couple more things to show. Firstly, we have the nether portal decoration, which makes the nether portal look a bit I'm not, I'm not really the best at designing stuff, but you get, the, you get the idea. It's just a decoration for the portal. Instead of just making the black border, you can just do stuff like that. Also, it's really nice. And over here, we have pixel art. So, if you made the sheep farm, you'll be able to make pixel art no problem with all the wool. And if anyone can guess the two names of these characters, I'll just heart your comment and probably reply to you too. So, yeah, you can make stuff like that, pixel art, and if you have any trash, which I do right now, you're going to have to move on to the next thing, which is a lava bin. It's a very simple machine to make. You can probably just see how simple it is, you can probably just copy it from here, but if not, I'll put a link. You'll see a card at the top left, or the top right, off the screen. Tap that, and then you'll be able to know how to make it. So basically, if you have any trash, you chuck it in here, and it just gets set on fire. And it's really cool, and it gets rid of everything, which is really handy. So yeah, we've only got two more things left of the top 20, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next the last two. So another thing you can make in your survival world is a bridge. They really do look nice, especially when they have function, if they're going over like a long area or like a body of water. It's really good to have a nice little bridge. You can do a little design like this, which will take you from A to B where you need to go. This is my base, that looks really bad, but I mean at least we have a nice little bridge. It looks kind of cool. Then you can decorate the underside, you can make a support beam and light it up from the bottom and it'll look really nice. So, we've got one more of the top 20 things to do. It's not it's not supposed to be a top 20 as like the best things. It's just, so, well, that's what top 20 means, but like, hey, -ho, I might change the actual title at some point. But yeah, let's move on to the last one. So one last survival idea you can make is a stable for your whole server. You can make as many stables as you want and you can combine it all into one space like this. So you've got six spaces here, so that means six people can have a horse and they can be protected from all the outside stuff like phantoms, mobs, all that kind of stuff. So guys, hopefully this top 20 sparked some creativity and gave you a little bit of inspiration. If you did enjoy the video, a like or subscribe or even both would definitely go a long way. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.